This tutorial will show how you can use dependency injection with two Windows Forms. You can read the caveat, I'd love some feedback. I don't know if this is the best way to do things. I don't know if there's problems with this. So give me feedback if I have done anything incorrect. To save time, I've already created the Visual Studio project. I'll show you some of those files here. And then we'll get to the part that we really want to see, which is how to use dependency injection in the second form. This source code will be available on GitHub. Here you see the Nugget package I have installed. Here you see program.cs, which is all set to run form one with dependency injection. And I've also added the singleton for the silly little interface that we use just for testing here, the I get next number. Here's what we want form one to show using dependency injection. We just wanted to read the config file to get one of those settings. And we wanted to use my interface for get next number to show that next number and then launch form two. And here's the source code for form one. You can see that it uses dependency injection for the configuration and for get next number. And way down here at the bottom, you can see we've got a little error here trying to launch form two. So let's take a look and find out what's going on. Here's the form two screen and here's the underlying code. And I've coded this like we would normally want it to work with dependency injection but we get that error that we see back here. We, we need to pass it parameters. So here's what I ultimately did. Let me comment out this constructor and put this constructor in there and let's see what happens. So all I've done is change those constructors and instead of using the normal DI techniques in the constructor, we're using the service provider get required service. And now when we look back at form one, there's no errors. So let's run this and see what happens. See if it actually works. So form one is showing everything correctly. Let's uh, clear all this information down there and go ahead and launch form two. And you can see it's working and it logged the information. This is a logged message from form two. So this just doesn't seem too bad to me to just go and get these required services. They're all sitting here in program CS. Let me close this app down here so we can see it better. And when we do this, we, we get the configuration and here's my get number. I've added it as a singleton here. And uh, so, I don't know. What do you think? It seems to work for me. Thanks. Have a good day.